The highlight of the week, sponsored by Dave Frannick Auto. Looking for that first car for your son or daughter? Don't panic. See Dave Frannick. Lenby Valley's defense sets the tone early in this key Freedom Division clash. Watch Kyle Shannon get the jump on the pass, and he takes it inside the Kittatinny 5 before being knocked out of bounds by Jake Brook. And then Nick Rafferty cashes it in from three yards out, and Lenby Valley takes a quick 6-0 lead after the miss PAT over Kittatinny. Lenby Valley gets the ball back, but the Pats give it right back on the fumble as Kittatinny recovers as Jake Brook comes out of the pile with the ball, and Kittatinny takes over at the 32. And then watch Kittatinny quarterback Kyle Potton out of the shotgun find Big Joe Rapazzi, who breaks a couple of tackles before being dragged down at the one-yard line. The Cougars then score here. Watch Jake Brook crash through for the TD from a yard out, and we are tied at six at the one quarter of play. Okay, Lenby Valley quickly retakes the lead here early in the second quarter. Watch Mike Greco on the counter, race into the end zone untouched, and the Pats go up 13-6 after the 40-yard score. He's got great wheels, folks. Kittatinny looks to answer here, and the Cougars do. Watch Kyle Potton find Joe Rapazzi again, and the tight end makes the catch and does the rest himself for a 56-yard TD, and we are tied at 13. All right, offense was the name of the game in this one. Watch Lenape Valley come right back. Watch Mike Greco take off on the counter for a huge 55-yard gain to the Kittatinny 16. And then Lenape Valley caps the quick drive here. Watch Nick Rafferty break all sorts of tackles, and he scores from 21 yards out and Lenape Valley has a 19-13 lead. The Pats get the ball back after a short Kittatinny punt and watch Mike Recco take it in from a yard out to push Lenape Valley's lead to 26-13. The Lenape Valley train keeps on rolling here after another short Kittatinny punt. The Pats are set up again and it's Nick Rafferty working his way through the Kittatinny defense for another score, this time from 22 yards out and Lenape has a 33-13 lead here in the first half. And the Pats were not through. Watch them find the end zone again it's Sean Carroll off the play action. He zips it to Matt Benvenuto for a five-yard touchdown, and Lenape Valley is rolling 40-13 to at the half. Okay, Lenape Valley picks up where it left off in the third quarter. As the Pats score again, this time it's Mike Recco. He scampers in from 11 yards out, and it's 47-13 Lenape Valley. Kittatinny still hanging in there, and the Cougars put together a drive, which is capped here by Dylan Wonder, who plows in from a yard out, but cut the Cougars' deficit to 47-19. But Lenape Valley caps its huge win here as Frank Orlando takes off for a 30-yard touchdown run, and Lenape Valley rolls to a 54-19 win over the Cougars as they improve to 4-0. It's always nice to beat anyone. A win's a win. We'll be back on the line tomorrow, not celebrating this weekend at all. But once it gets going, you know, and we started off a little slow, and uh, you know, for whatever reason, and you got to give Kittatinny some of that credit. I thought they played us pretty tough there in the early going. Um, the group kind of wears people down really it, 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 you know they keep leaning on you and pounding the ball at you and stuff and it's a it's really a, a great senior class for us I mean they work hard in the weight room and you're three days a week now and I think that that stuff pays off as the season goes on. A big night for the two premier backs in this Lenape Valley offense for Nick Rafferty and Mike Greco almost 300 yards on the ground between them and six touchdowns combined. Well, it all starts out with the line. They fire off. They hit their kids. As long as they hit their kids, me and Greco can just find the hole, and we'll, we're good to go. When you get over 100 yards, I guess it's a good, it's a good night. It's a good night. Touchdown! I don't know how many. Two touchdowns. Three touchdowns. Uh, it's a great night. You know, come out here with a win. Doesn't doesn't get any better than this. It's all business for Lenape Valley, who is 4-0 for the fourth consecutive year. The message before the game was to enjoy tonight and then we'll worry about everything else. And that's what we've kind of preached, you know, just uh, enjoy this dance. You know, you're here one time, you get one shot at them. You know, you can't afford, you only play nine games during the season. You can't afford to waste one. And I've had teams that have had. You know. It doesn't always show up in the stats or on the score sheet, but the offensive line doing a tremendous job for Lenape Valley, opening up the holes for the running backs out of the wing tee. It's pretty great, you know. It's an honor to play with those guys. They're great backs and, you know, we're doing a good job up front block for them and getting things going. 